Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we... Hold on a sec. Okay, in the last episode... We got here to the, to the woods and had a battle with our rival Hop. Now we, now after getting Sonya's book, oh, now that she's a fully fledged professor, Esther, we are going to return the sword and shield to their rightful place. I don't have the best memories of stumbling weed, but I come to do a quick investigation. Hurry it up and put the rusted sword and the rusted shield back where they belong. Uh. Where they belong. Sorry, I've just ate. I do like to get a photo of them on the location. Here it is. Let's put the sword and shield back away and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, Sassy on. On in Somerset again. We'll see Sassy on in Somerset someday. Let's put back the sword. Sassy on Somerset. Thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics and all. You and Hop returned the rusted sword and shield. All right. Oh, that's Hop talking. All right, that's about settles it. Donnie, why don't you and I head back? What are you gonna do, Sonya? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I do want to do a little bit more research here in the forest. Hmm? My power spot detector's going off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I heard someone making some noises over this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wouldn't you... Wouldn't you be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book... Book? Galari History? Um... Uh, hello. You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. We read it cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review of it. That awful book was full with lies, so we gave it a one star. What? There's no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am... I am Swordward. And I am Schubert. We are the new kings of Galar. We are the descendants of the first kings. More than that, we are celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, well, could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Swordward took the rusted shield sword and Shieldbird took the rusted shield. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you got a problem with it, how about you prove to who they belong? Hmm? There's no way anyone can prove those ancient things belong to. And even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Sasion and Samoseta. Oh goodness, such a people. And yet so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a, with a battle. We are celebrities who buy, uh, who buy battles for twice what they are worth. What does that even mean? I am the Mr. I cannot speak today. I am the M Magnificent Swordward. And I am your opponent. Apparently me trying to do like a rich, it, rich, rich like accent for them is like butchering my wor way of saying sentences. But we're challenged by Swordbird. And I have to say, what is he using to keep his hair like that? So anyway, these two weirdos that have shown up, these these guys do not come out of nowhere. 
If you remember, there was an NPC earlier in the game that mentioned someone, that mentioned these characters. Characters by their haircut, so they don't come out of nowhere. They are actually, uh, there is some foreshadowing to them. But they're trying to take the rest of the sword and shield, so let's put a stop to them. Give it a nice surging strike, Hydro. Yep, the third hit's gonna take it out. Down goes Surfetch. Also, another thing I should note here. Swordbird is a sword exclusive battle. If you are playing Pokemon Shield, you would be battling Shubert instead. Uh, yeah, let's switch. So yeah, just keep... So I want to... Uh, quickly mention that that uh, who who you battle here is based on your version. If you are playing Shield, you will battle Swordbert. If you battle Swordbert, if you're playing, sh blah, 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 blah. let me say that again. If you're about if you're playing Sword, you will battle Swordbert. If you're playing Shield, you will battle Shubert. Try saying those two names together uh, ten times fast as it's almost like a tongue twister. But down goes his Dublade. Uh, from what I remember, their teams are similar, but they do have one or two Pokemon different on their team. Uh, Sobird, if I remember correctly, focuses on a very offensive team. Here comes Bisharp. Uh, focuses on a very offensive team. While Shubert focuses on a very, uh, uh-oh, on a very, um, defensive team. And I just realized I am out of PP for Pyro Ball. Because I didn't go to a Pokemon Center between this. Anyway, let's do a Flame Charge. If it was Pyro Ball, you would have been one-shot KO'd. Oh, and you have something to super effective against, Alex. Uh-oh. You're going down. Down it goes. Oh, I didn't realize Hydro didn't level up. I could have sent out Hydro. Got the battle done much faster while well, Hydro leveled up. Glissapod, I'm gonna switch to Gleam. Get back, Alex, and we're gonna switch out to Gleam. Hmm, that's enough faffing about. I suppose it's time to get serious. Intimidate! Which is really good since Glissapod is a very good physical attacker. And it can't use its ability because it's the last Pokemon, although it can use First Impression. Sap that Glissapod, and it actually survived against Gleam. Well, it's the last Pokemon, so it's not running away from this battle. Take it down, Gleam. And down goes the Glissapod. Oh, how can this be? My, my Pokemon. I took back the rusted sword. Tish, to somehow have defeated it, uh, it, the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You are certainly strong. However, it appears my younger brother was victorious. Sorry, Donnie. I lost to him. Ah, <laughs> Something on your mind, boy. You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. 
Older brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternius? Oh ho, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child snatching up our chance of glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of our magnificent mural oh, our ancestors so craftily created many years ago. What a garless brute! Destroying our, in the mural our family had held in such high esteem for so long! Mural? You mean the one that hit the historical ruins of, of Sassion and the others? And hold on a moment, it, Donnie wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that farewell. Wait, stop. Give me back that rusted shield. Hold on, Hop. Ugh, that kid. He's gone and, and recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Donnie. I expected as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe he had some. Maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal banished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Swordward and Shieldbert, was it? I think I might know something about those two who weirdos went. Shall we get get blah, 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 blah. Shall we shall we go over over at the at the lab in Wesworth? Of course. I bet and I didn't even need to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up later then. I'll head back to the lab. And with that, we are we are on our way to Sonya's lab in the next episode. So in the next episode, we'll head to Sonya's lab and see if she can work out where those two weirdos went. See you all in the next episode. If you like this, subscribe and and share the content. Later.